Hello friends, welcome to Ban That Face Palette. I am about a week late to updating you guys on this project pan. I'm a week late, I believe, uploading it and I'm a week late filming it. I know I'm a hot mess. Typically I like to wrap this project up the last week of the month so that way I could tally it up, film it, edit it for you guys and put it up. But because of spring break with my kids, I have been delayed so I apologize. I had a week's worth more with these products than I have the last two months. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up because you're gonna see a lot of changes today and you might be a little bit surprised, so I just wanted to give you guys the heads up on that. Also, my hair has grown about two inches and I feel like I look like helmet head. <laughs> I'm at that stage where I'm starting to learn the new length and how to style it, and right now it's grown about two inches. My bangs have gotten like down to here when they were up to here. I told you guys my hair grows pretty quick and I'm trying to figure out how to style it again. <laughs> It's one of those things. So anyway, you're not here for my hair. You're here to see the update. So if you're interested to see what I did this month, stay tuned. If you do not know how I'm doing this project pan, I always refer you guys back to my intro so you're fully aware of how I am doing this project pan this year. So with that said, I'm not gonna go into it because I don't want to sound redundant every single month. Let's start out with the first palette that I have this, uh, this year that I'm using. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom. All right, the Bloom face one. I thought it was something else. <laughs> Bloom. <laughs> I've been using this one way too long that I'm like, cuckoo right now. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I am trying to hit pan on the highlighter and the blush. So in total, I have two different uses for both of these this past month. Last month, I used them respectively 44 and 46 times. So I had quite a bit of usage in them and now, before I give you guys the numbers, I wanna show you guys exactly what it's looking like today with obviously the last year, last month's update. So as you guys can see, ta-da! I have actually hit a pretty decent pan in the highlighter. I expected to hit pan on that one rather easily and pretty soon, but that's not that far-fetched. Now the blush, I will say I am feeling like I'm getting there and I will be able to hit pan on that. Oh, I don't wanna blind you guys but I'm feeling like a nice dip right here going on. So I'm very, very excited about this one. So in total, I used the highlighter 54 times. So 54 times, right as soon as I updated you guys last month, it only took maybe not even 10 more uses, nine more uses, and I was able to hit pan on that one. And then I was able to officially take a break on that one because it, it actually worked out in the end and I'll explain you guys why that happened. As far as the blush goes, I've used this blush 74 times total since the beginning of this year. So 54 times total in the whole entire year for the highlighter, 74 times in total for the year as well. As far as the month of March goes, I only used the highlighter nine times and I used the blush 28 times. Typically I'm using it 22 to 23 times, but like I mentioned, I had a week extra with this product, so I had 28 uses, including today's use on this blush. I'm wearing it today, wear it every single day, you guys. It is nothing different, it is nothing new, so I'm still working on it. I'm hoping now that I've hit the 74 use, typically it takes about 90 to 100-ish to hit pan on Natasha Denona blushes, so I have a feeling Next update, I should have blush, uh, I should have paint on that one and I can finally roll this out for the summertime. Cause oh, I'm not um, bored of it. It's just, it's, it's intense. It's intense, you guys, 74 uses and this is what it's looking like. So that way you guys can see, it is, it is serious. And one of you guys is also panning this palette with me. I'm hoping you are getting close as well because I see the light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> but it's still there and I still have quite a bit to go on this one. So this is still staying in for the blush part, not so much the highlighter. So last update, I had rolled in three different blushes in order to replace the powder blush that I had. So I have these three here to share with you guys. So let's start out with the first one. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. This is in the color Province. Province. This was brand new when I brought it in. I didn't even have the seal undone. And as you guys can see, I finished this one. Like I don't want to, I don't want to get it all over the place, but this is completely done and emptied out. This is what I use as a highlighter 
when I hit pan on this product right here in the Natasha Denona blush or the highlighter in there. The reason why is this one was way too light for a blush for me. So what I ended up doing was mixing this as a highlighter on here. So I ended up getting 10 uses out of this one, 10 uses, and I was able to finish this completely off. I had told you guys this looked like it would be rather easy, and quite a few of you guys said that this could be a highlighter blush mix. That's exactly what I did. I ended up using this as a blush a blush highlighter topper with the red blush that I have going on in this palette. So I ended up working out where it made that one a little bit more dewy, and it looked really pretty. So I am done with this one. Is this my favorite? Testing this out, is this my favorite one? No. Uh, it's a gel formula, so it was very finicky for me to work with with my oily skin. So it's more of like a drier, normal person skin. So I had three of these in my collection that I got as a gift for Christmas. I never touched them. I passed those along knowing that after I use this one, I wasn't gonna be a fan of using those other ones. So I did a passing those along and I hope that she likes them. I sent them to another fellow friend and content creator. So I hope she really does like them. I think she may enjoy them better than me cause she doesn't have super oily skin like I do. So I think that that'll be better for her. So this is an empty, you guys. One less blush in my collection that I can knock off as inventory. But that's not it, you guys. I surprised myself as of yesterday, I was able to hit another goal. So I brought in the Ilia At Last Multi Stick Blush. Never did I think that I would get some sort of usage on it, you guys. I never, I only used it like once or twice before bringing it into this Project Pan, but I knew because of the color I wanted to get use out of it. And you guys, I was able to completely finish this off completely. And I'm not digging in here. You guys know I don't dig into products. If I was not a Project Panner, if the YouTube community did not exist and I wore makeup, I wouldn't be digging. I Honestly, I don't think I would be digging. So this is done for me, completely done. I got 21 uses out of this one. So in total to finish this blush, it took me a good 25 uses because if I were to count those uses that I used it prior to putting it into this project pan, I probably got like 25 to 30 uses out of this blush. A few of you guys, I think it was like one or two people commented that you tried this blush out and really didn't like the formula. How I ended up making this work for me, I warmed it up on my palm and then used a brush to then put it on my face. I didn't like it putting it on. I didn't like it using my finger. The color, the consistency was a little bit finicky and I didn't like doing that. So I ended up, just using it that way and it worked out beautifully for me. So I am done with another one. This was a total surprise. I did not expect to finish this one off. When I brought it in, I really thought I was just gonna use it intermittently, but once I got the hang of it, I did not let it go. But I was so excited because I ended up getting 21 uses out of it and I was able to finish it off. So now I have two blushes out of my inventory. I'm so excited about that, you guys. That is such a win for me. Next up was this one. This is the Tower 28 in the color Beach Please Office Hours. I don't know which one it is. Office Hours, Beach Please, I don't know. So I ended up using this one a total of eight uses. This is the one that I'm currently wearing today on my cheeks. I've had to figure out a way to play around with this one. This one was a little bit tricky for me to play around with. So I tried it out with putting it on my cheeks, blending it out with a brush. Did not like it, it would pick up all of my foundation, anything under it. Did not play well when I had powder on top. Try to use my finger, but then it got all over the place because I have very long fingers. So it's like, gets all up in where I don't want it to be. So it was very finicky for me. I'm not used to doing it that way. So how I've been able to do it is, I bounce a brush in there, bounce off the excess, and then go ahead and pat it on my cheeks. And that's how I've been able to make it work for me. I do have to set it with powder on top, I can't wear it on its own because it just looks way too dewy for me. Even in the winter time, it just gets really dewy. So I do have to set it with powder after I put it on my cheeks and that's what I'm doing today. But over the, throughout the day, it looks really pretty because then my oils come through and it looks natural. It looks pretty. It doesn't look super oily as if I didn't put powder on top. So I've had to play around with this one to figure out how I like it. And that's the best way I've been able to find that I do like it. Now this one's staying in here <sighs> until I finish it. I think I'm gonna end up just keeping this in here until I'm done with it because I feel like I can get, I think I can finish it off. I think I could definitely finish this one off in a few months and then be able to bring out another one out of my collection. So this one's staying in until I'm completely done with it. I won't roll anything else in for it because this is a, a color that I can wear 
in the spring right now. I think I like it like this. I, I like the color. In person, it looks really nice. It's not super peachy. It's not super pink. It's right in the middle. So this is staying in until I'm done. Alrighty, so Miss Mary Lou, Miss Mary Lou, if you guys follow me on my panning Instagram, you will see that I have shown where it was and me repressing it. So here is where we are at with Miss Mary Lou right now. I will show you a picture of last month and obviously now. So this is where I'm at. And this is a pretty hefty dome right here. This isn't flat. So she's still in here, you guys. As much as I can see the end of this, I still feel like I have quite a bit to go with her. She just packs a lot of product in here. This is this is 8.5 grams of product, you guys. I've been using this product since October of last year nonstop and I continue to use her. She's on my cheeks today and she looks pretty. I do like her. I'm not bored with her. She's not annoying me. She's not a thorn in my side. We're still gonna keep working on Miss Mary. <laughs> I used Mary 29 times this past month, totaling 74 uses since January. That is not including October, November, and December's usage, which if I were to say 23 uses, 22 uses a month, I'm adding another 60. So I've probably used Miss Mary Lou at a point, at this point since October to now, about 130 times. 130 times and she's still here. She's still here and I, that, that's give or take, you know, me using makeup 22-ish times. I probably used it more, but we're gonna say about 130 times so far. This is what you guys have seen. She's not for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that much. There's a lot of product in here and as long as you like her, you're fine. I, I still like her, I still enjoy her. She doesn't look overpowering because of the way that I put it on, but she's still in here and I'm very happy about that. Last but not least is my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. I was sure with you guys where I was the last time. This month, I used it 28 times, totaling 73 uses to be able to completely finish it, you guys. I am completely done. These are all just like things that are stuck in there. So I'm very, very happy that I was able to completely finish this bronzer off. Can you see that? She's done. She's finished. She is content. I loved every bit of this bronzer. There is nothing wrong with it. I kind of was sad to see it go because it was the perfect tone for me in the winter time. It wasn't too warm. It wasn't too cool. It wasn't too red. It was just perfect. It looked perfect on my skin. It didn't make my foundation get too dark, too orangey. Sometimes if I wear a very warm bronzer in the winter time, it, when I wash my face off, you could see how orange my foundation and my base turns because of a bronzer. So I have to be very careful with that. And they don't make this anymore, which is sad because this was such a beautiful formula, such a beautiful bronzer overall. I really was like using the minimalist amount towards the end just to extend it as long as possible to then having to choose something new. So. I'm done with this one, you guys. I have an empty. Again, this was used since October of last year, so it wasn't January, February, March's uses. I mean, I used this again over 130 uses. I believe this took about over 130 uses to completely finish off from start to finish, but I'm very happy that this one's done and I get to put this as an empty as well. Okay, so let's recap, you guys. I was able to hip pan on one, so I met one goal two goals, bonus goal, did not expect to finish that one off. I was just wanting to play with it and I ended up finishing it. So that's three and my bronzer four. So this past month was very, very successful. That one week just helped me out tremendously to be able to hit four goals in here. In here, I'm so, so happy about that. So what are we going to do for the next month? So let me share with you guys exactly what I'm gonna do, what I'm rolling in, so on and so forth. Okay, so as far as the singles go, like I mentioned, I wanna keep the, the Tower 28 blush in here until I'm completely done with it. So we are sticking to it. We're gonna continue to use this until she is officially done and out of my collection. So this is staying in until finishing. Mary Lou, same thing. She's still in here until she finishes. And then when we are done, then we can bring in what we wanna bring in. For the bronzer, I do have another bronzer that I wanna bring in, but as I had a little bit of time to play around with other things in my collection, just to see what I wanted to bring in next, the bronzer that I have 
up on deck is way too orange base for me right now. I don't have a tan. I'm not golden yet to be able to wear that because I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa if I even try. It's too deep of a bronzer. So I have to find something in the middle until I can bring that one in. So I'm bringing in something temporarily just to pass me by. That's why I was trying to extend the life of this one because I didn't want to do that, but I have no choice. So I had two options and I played around with two different options, but I feel like the one that I'm going to choose, I feel like I have a better opportunity to try to really finish it off if I possibly can. So what I am bringing in and what I am wearing today is coming from this palette. This is the NARS Guy Bourdain palette and I already have pan on this bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. So because of the fact that I already have pan on here, I wanted to completely just try to use as much of it as I possibly can until I get a tan and then I can bring in the official bronzer I wanna bring into this project pan. For right now, I cannot bring that bronzer in. It's just too golden-y, but this one's okay. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it the last few days and it hasn't turned my face Oompa Loompa-ish too much. <laughs> like I can see that my blush is very orangey compared to my neck but it, in person, I don't look too bad. I don't look too bad. So I'm gonna bring this one in and until I know that I can bring in the other bronzer. So I don't know. I don't, it could be a month, could be two months, could be two and a half months. I don't know how long it'll be, but I'll keep tally to see how many uses I get out of this bronzer and hopes to be able to finish it one day. So we're gonna try to finish this one off. I thought this was the better option to use. And this bronzer is, good for me right now. It's not too dark. It's not too golden-y. So it's like right there or unless I put too much on my skin, it doesn't look too bad on my face. So I'm going to roll that one in until further notice. And then I'll roll the other one in. As far as this goes, since we already hit pan on the highlighter, I'm going to stop using that one. And we're going to continue to use this one. I predict that crossing fingers next month is when I will hit pan on that one. And then I have my next palette that I want to bring in for the summertime. So I'm hoping that by next month that will be completely finished and rolled out of this project pan as well. So for next month, I'm hoping the only change you will see for next month is possibly just this one. I think Mary Lou's still gonna be in here, the Tower 28's still gonna be here, the Bronzer's still gonna be here. So I don't think I'll have too much changes next month. This month was a big, big change. One, I had an extra week and um, I had some products that I knew I can get done and then some other ones surprised me. So I'm very, very happy about that. This just is teaching me about my formulas and how to use them and what I like and how I like them. So I, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. I actually enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. This was very, very successful. I can bring my bronzer collection down by one, my cream liquid blushes by two. Like this is exciting. I'm hoping I get another highlighter out the way. Um, hopefully I'll finish this cream blush this year so that I can get another one down. It's just like, love to see my numbers come down. I'm very, very excited about that. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then.